Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review on the Revlon Color Stay foundation as well as the concealer. I used to love this foundation. Like I was a huge fan back in high school, probably like eight years ago. And so I wanted to retry it out for you guys, test it out, see what I think, see whether I still like it or not. So today we're going to do a demo. I'm going to talk about how it applies, what color I got, how it looks, my final thoughts, things like that. Just a kind of easy, quick review. This is for normal to dry skin. The one I'm going to be trying out, it is supposed to have um, 24 hours worth of coverage. It has SPF 20 and we're going to see what I think. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Kristen. I post videos every single week on beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So I'd love for you guys to subscribe below, like this video if you like it, and let's just jump right in. All right, you guys, we're going to try this out. And like I always say, before I jump in, I always moisturize first. So I went ahead and used my daily moisturizer. This is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer. This just works. It's pretty inexpensive from the drugstore. It has SPF. It does a great job. It smells really good. So I use this already. Um, I use that every day. This is not something I do all the time, but I've been having a lot of breakouts recently. So I feel like this really helps. I feel like it works. Um, this is the Kate Somerville anti Back Acne Clearing Lotion. It's like a little pump. And I use this more as like a spot treatment, so like I'll put it on the areas where I have breakouts. I used a little bit of this today. I will link everything below for you guys. If you're curious about certain products or certain tools, everything that I talk about, I will link. I also do outfit details and stuff too, so I'll link this sweater. This is one of the Barefoot Dreams ones. I love these. Oh, and this necklace is one of my favorites too, so. Anyways, I like to use a primer in these videos because I feel like I use a primer nine times out of ten when I do my foundation and when I do my makeup so for me it kind of keeps it consistent as far as like judging how a product wears or how a product goes on or how it looks so this one is always my go-to it's the Becca backlight priming filter I never was a huge fan of primers before I started using this one and I don't know I'm just I'm hooked now this is a very liquidy like runny formula if you guys can see it just kind of rolls down the back of your hand and I actually really like that it's runny I find it's easy to kind of blend in and easy to apply versus like something really thick so I dot a little bit on I'm gonna show you guys both a brush and a sponge and then I'll tell you guys kind of like what I prefer um, as far as like tools go I did one pump, but I didn't use all of the product. I still have quite a bit left on my hand. So on this side of my face, I did a foundation brush, and then this side I did the sponge. This is the Real Techniques one, and then this is the It Cosmetics um, Heavenly Luxe Flawless Foundation Brush. I don't notice a difference between either of these. I think it looks pretty much exactly the same. It did a really nice job of kind of blending in my cheeks and like kind of smoothing my complexion out, kind of covering any of like my face redness. I have quite a few breakouts down here. I can still see those. Um, I can still see a little bit of dryness down here where my skin is dry. So I'm going to do a second layer. This time I'm going to do a little bit more full coverage. So what I found is that you can get a, a little bit more coverage if you use a brush and you kind of dip and then apply. So hopefully you guys can tell this is a lot more full coverage doing that. So you can definitely build this product up if you use a brush or something like a duo fiber brush where you can just really pack the product in and build it up on your skin. Don't think you'd be able to do that with a sponge just because it, it's going to shear it out more, make it look a little bit more natural. I like the versatility of that. I like that I can do either like a more natural finish or a heavier finish. It reminds me a lot of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. So if you're a big fan of this, I think this is a very, very similar less expensive dupe from the drugstore and I will say the color match on this is pretty spot on for me. I picked 110 Ivory in the Double Wear I use 1C1 Cool Bone and this one is just a tad bit dark for me. It's the lightest shade that they do at Estee Lauder um, in this product and it's a little bit dark for me. This one 
is perfect. I like the color, I like the coverage. It looks very full coverage and very flawless, but it also doesn't look cakey or too too much like I don't feel like I look like a powdered donut or anything like that so I like the finish I wanted to talk about the color of stay concealer I had never used this one before until um, about two weeks ago so I've been trying it out and I thought I would include it in this video it's not too thick or um, difficult to really blend out my thing is I feel like the color I feel like the color works I should have mentioned this is the color fair yeah, this is the color Fair, which is the lightest shade. I feel like the color works and I can use it, but it's still a little bit more dark than I prefer for under the eyes. And it almost has a little bit of like a yellow kind of undertone to it. I prefer like a lighter, brighter under eye to really just kind of like lift the eyes, make things look bright, make you look awake. Um, so I wish that they had one that was just a little bit lighter than this um, for the really pale skin tones like me because this one works, but to me it almost just looks like my skin tone. So it kind of just blends everything in all the same. I think the color would be all right for my skin, like down here, but under the eyes, I prefer something a little bit brighter. Overall, I really, really love the foundation. I'm very impressed with it thus far. The concealer, I think, is okay. I would say concealer, I would probably give a five, maybe a six out of 10. Foundation, I would say, Probably an 8 out of 10. I really like the foundation. I am a fan. As somebody with dry skin, I find a lot of foundations that are very full coverage or medium to full coverage just don't work or that claim to be good for dry skin aren't. This one works really, really well. I also love the shade range and the color selection for fair skin. I usually find all drugstore foundations for the most part are too dark, just like a little bit orange or a tad darker. This one works really well for my skin. So if you have very pale, light skin like me, I would check it out. I would give it a shot. I have not tried the oily combination version, but I will link it below as well as this one, the concealer, all of the other products and tools that I use. So if you guys are curious, you kind of want to read up on everything, I will put links below. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe below so you don't miss any more of my videos. And thank you all so, so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.